Right, so this video will show you how to make a rectangular box. Uh, this is the sort of thing that I am looking for. Uh, red lines indicating engraving, black lines indicating an outline. Um, and this is the space that you will have in order to cut yours out in part. Um, this box itself will be much like the Cluedo box here. Um, the lid will sit right up to the the table if it was sat on a table and um, this depth should be the same and the lid will lift directly off so um, let's get started on making one so first of all you need to have a new slide and this is the width that you need you need the width of 900 and the height of 600 the reason for that is is our laser cutter bed is that size if you have anything larger it will not fit on the laser cutter and you won't be able to cut it out so let's go to the okay and um, so now that you've got your um, base you need to sort out how big the bottom of your shape is going to be now all of the shapes you make should have no fill the laser cutter will not read it if it has got no fill. Black indicates cut and red indicates engrave. Now, if you look back to this one, the inner box here is red. That's because we don't want to cut it out. We want to score it with the laser. We want to engrave it. So what you will need to do is click on your uh, rectangle tool, click on it, and then you want to actually type in the measurement that you want the width and the height of your box. Now, I would like you to do this with the bottom of your box first of all. Forget about the lid for now. So the bottom of my box is going to be 225 wide and it's going to be 180 high. Click OK and that will come up with your box. Now at the moment you will see that that is black. So let's make it red. That is the bottom of my box. Now you should do the same with yours, with the measurements that you have chosen for the size of your box. Now we need to draw the next part in, which is essentially this bit here, this, this panel. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line. Okay, that line is going to be red. I'm going to draw it up. Cancel that out from. So actually in fact it's probably easier to do it elsewhere on the page now the length of our line is going to be the height of the box so my box is going to be 40 millimeters high there we go i've got my line now i want to position my line at the very end of that if i zoom in to this area this working area you should be able to see that that is connected to the end. Now all I'm going to do is copy and paste it and put it here, here, and finally there. Okay, so now you should be able to see that that is like a double H shape like this. So it's got that line, it's got that line, and it also has that red bottom bit here. So if it's going to be 40 high, this box, it's also going to have to be 40 high here. So to make sure I've got the same line, I'm going to copy and paste it. And then I'm going to object transform and rotate it through 90 degrees. I know I've got exactly that same line now. And I'm going to join him on here. The box is coming in the way. Let's join him on here first. Copy and paste. Same here. And again, let's try and get it lined up. There we go. And finally down there. Right. So now I've got all of the red lines I need. I'm now going to change to black lines because the rest of it is actually going to be something that I'm going to physically cut with this laser. So I've got my black and now I want to join up the top. I want to join up the sides, the bottom and the other side. 
Now, hopefully, you'll be able to see this net coming together. You've got the top surface or the bottom surface in your case, and then the four sides. Now, the last thing we need is we need tabs. Now, let's have a look at this one. Now, you might see that I've made a bit of an error here where these lines here on this one are black and mine are red. So let's go and correct that. Let's make sure all of these lines, these little lines on the edge are red because we are actually going to cut them. Not in grey. So let's make those black. There we go. Right. The extra bits that you need to add are tabs. Okay, they need to come out here and here. Um, so when you fold it up, that side, that tab will fit onto this one and so on. Now, let's draw one and zoom in and then we can copy and paste it. So, zoomed in. First of all, let's start off with a rectangle. Now, we know it's 40 high, we know it's 40 wide, this square, because we've gone 40 up and we've gone 40 across. Now, we don't want it to come out 40, so I would say 15 would be perfect. So let's draw a rectangle that is a width of 15 and a height of 40. And for now, we are just going to position this here. This one is going to be a guide. So we're going to give this a silly color that we wouldn't use on the laser. So let's go with bright orange. Okay, that is just a marker. I'm not going to use this. So, if we click on this one, we want it to be black because it is a cut. And we want. If I click on here and I hold shift, I should. I should be able to get a 45 degree angle until I reach the car. And I'm going to do the same on this one. Oops. Helps if you hold shift in and let go of your click. And then I'm just going to join it up with a normal line. Okay. Right, next bit, delete that orange box. So now you've got a tab, okay? I'm not going to group this. The reason I'm not going to group it is that the laser cutter will not read anything that's been grouped. So let's zoom into the area we're going to use and select all three bits of that. Now we can copy and paste that and just plonk him on the end of here. And that's one side done. Now, if you're clever and you shift and hold them, you can create a copy of it mirrored. So, transform, reflect, reflect along the vertical. You want a preview, that is correct, and you want a copy. So, now that we've got that, we can put that over there. And that should be your box. The base of your box completed. So now you need to create the lid. The lid needs to be a exact replica of this, however, it needs to be slightly larger so that it can actually fit over the thickness of the cardboard that we're going to cut this out of. What you need to do is hold the whole lot, copy it, and paste it. And then you need to go to Object transform scale. The scale we're going to do is in uniform. Ignore the non-uniform, we just want it in uniform. And because we're going to we want to make it 3% larger, that means that the total number we put in is 103. We don't want a copy because we've already copied it and we want to click OK. Now you should have seen that growing. If I match this up you should be able to see that it's actually, in fact, larger. Let's see. There we go. You should be able to see that that is bigger. Now, that will mean that you will be able to put one part of your box over the other. Let's just make that way. You need to put a little bit of space between yours, and it helps if you don't need to. 
Now that is yours ready to be laser print nearly. First of all, save it. And then you need to make sure that it is in a format that the laser cutter will be able to read. So double check that all of yours is in the no colour zone, which it is. If it isn't, correct it. And then go to object and ungroup. And if it will allow you to ungroup it, ungroup it until there is no grouping. Mine hasn't got any grouping, so it won't. File, export. This is now going to export it so that it is the correct sort of file for the laser cutter to be able to read. Now, my computer is slightly different to yours, but I will tell you exactly what you need to do. So you go to File and Export, and then here you want to go to a DXF file. Select where you're going to save it, save, and then up here, now yours will all be bullet points, okay? You want the top bullet point for every single one of these. You click OK. Next thing you'll need to do is you will need to send both the CAD file, the Illustrator file that you've got, and the DXF copy to me. And I will get that laser cut for you. Right. Hopefully, that's all of the instruction you need. Good luck.